God is in control. Our God is always in control of our lives. There are times when life is hard and we're powerless to change our circumstances and there's nothing that anyone else can do. You may even begin to question God's ability to move in your situation. But the Bible teaches us that even when our situation appears hopeless, there is always hope in God. We may not have power to change our circumstances, but God is able. Most importantly, God is sovereign, which means he's still on the throne and still in control. Acts 12 verses 4 to 7 illustrates the sovereignty of God in the life of Peter. King Herod Agrippa I had begun persecuting the church and had executed James. Herod had arrested Peter and intended to execute him too after the Passover. But following the prayers of the early church at the time, God miraculously sets Peter free by his sovereign power. Stott describes the contrast of power in this passage as between the destructive power of Herod and the saving power of God. Let's look at the meaning to them. Luke was writing to Theophilus and the early church. They would have read earlier in the book of this book of Acts of the stoning of Stephen and the execution of James, and may be, be becoming discouraged at the rising power of King Herod Agrippa I and his increasing persecution against the early church. This passage offers encouragement to the early Christians, making it clear that God is still on the throne and that their lives are in his hands. As Wisby writes, it was the throne in heaven that was in control, not the throne on earth. While King Herod Agrippa I could use everything in his power to come against the church, and to come against Peter, God was more powerful. Peter's imprisonment and release happened during the Passover. As the Jews were celebrating the time God miraculously delivered his people from the bondage of Egypt, God miraculously delivered Peter from the bondage of prison. Wisby states that Peter experienced a new kind of exodus in answer to the prayers of God's people. Peter's deliverance was a literal reminder of the deliverance of the Israelites, as well as an illustration to them of God setting them free from the bonds of sin and death through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So let's look at the meaning to us, the contemporary church. For most of us today, we'll never know what it's like to be in a literal prison, but the truth is we will all experience dark times, and we may even feel imprisoned or stuck in situations beyond our control with no way out. You may even know someone at the moment who's trapped in a metaphoric prison, such as depression, grief, brokenness or sickness. This passage tells the contemporary church that the same God who sent the angel to bring light into Peter's darkness and set him free from the chains that bound him is still on the throne today and more than able to work in our lives to bring light into our darkness and set us free from the things that bind us. 
Wisby writes of the comfort we can take in the sovereignty of God during difficult times. He says, It is good to know that no matter how difficult the trials or how disappointing the news, God is still on the throne and has everything under control. We may not always understand his ways, but we know his sovereign will is best. Next I want to look at the passage and what it means to me. This passage tells me that the same God that moved so powerfully in Peter's life to bring light and liberty can work in my life today to bring a light when I go through dark times and can set me free from the chains that bind me and prevent me from living in the freedom that we have through Christ and from being and doing all that the Lord has for me to do. When I cannot see the way through, and it seems like there is no way out, I can find rest from my worries by putting my hope in God and trusting that he is still in control and will bring me through and will fulfill his purpose for me, just as he did for Peter. I have had chronic pain for 14 years. The doctors say there's nothing they can do. And they say I'll just have to manage. I feel like I'm in a prison bound by the chains of pain, which are holding me back from being all that I want to do and be in God. But I take comfort in the truth that the God who caused Peter's chains to fall off is the same God yesterday, today and forever and has the power to set me free too. Peter went through a dark time in prison and was bound in chains, but our sovereign God moved miraculously in his life to shine his light and set Peter free. This same God still reigns today and has the power to move in our lives and in our dark situations. He is able to break the bonds that hold us and set us free. I encourage you to look to God in your dark times when you are stuck and see no way out. Take comfort that God is sovereign and he holds you in the palms of his hands. If you know someone in the prison of sickness, pain or depression, pray for them. The same God is able to shine his light in their situation and set them free.